Welcome to the Communication Diva Podcast, Episode 49. On today's podcast, the Communication Diva addresses the subject of being present. At the beginning of December, we are entering a season of increased busyness, when it is so easy to become absorbed with long to-do lists. All the more important, then, to make an effort to focus on presence. While you're at it, don't worry about getting me a present. Cash will be fine. Hi, this is Jen Swanson, your host at CommunicationDiva.com. And I am happy to talk to you today about the practice of presence. But before that, I just wanted to say welcome if you're a first-time listener and welcome back if you've heard Communication Diva before. Um, My aim is to help people communicate better and more deeply with one another, both in uh, workplace settings and in personal relationships. Because most of the problems that occur and the breakdown that occurs in relationships has to do with communication and either poor communication or communication misunderstandings. And so the idea behind this podcast is to explore all different areas of communication in the hopes that some of it will help you to take your relationships either at work or at home to the next level. So that is my passion and that is what I am hoping to share with you. And today I decided that it would be a good thing to talk about being present. It is the beginning of December. It is a crazy busy time for most people. And uh, and there's a lot to think about, a lot of details, a lot of socializing, a lot of rushing about, a lot of busyness. And, and sometimes we are distracted when we are having communications with one another. We get distracted, we are thinking about other things, and we aren't always here in the now, present, with the person that we are with at the time. And this is unfortunate because I think we miss a lot when we are not in the moment present with one another. And I do it too. All sorts of people do it. Thinking about what you're going to do next and all the things that are on the list and the conversation you had 10 minutes ago with somebody else and, and all of that. And, uh, and it can be really obvious too. And sometimes it's not so obvious, but it can be really obvious Um, to other people. We were out, my husband and I were out for dinner the other night. We just spontaneously, this never happens, but we spontaneously decided that uh, we wanted to go not cook dinner and we wanted to go out. And so we went to a little um, pub not far from our home that we'd never been to before and uh, sat down and had a really good hamburger. And uh, I was sitting there and the the server came up and she said, how's everything? And before we could barely get out of our mouths, it's really good thing. She says, oh, great. And she walks away. And I thought, wow, she really isn't present. She really could care less. (laughs) Uh, You know, it almost made me want to say something completely whacked out and bizarre just to see what she would do. But she really, really didn't care and uh, was not present. She was thinking of 5,000 other things, and she had to come and ask us how the food was, and, and on she went. And I wondered then how many times I've done that, and, um, and what can be done to prevent doing that to somebody else, because it really does communicate the message that you're not important, or you're not important at this moment, other things are more important. And I think I think that could be damaging to a relationship, especially if you don't have a long time um, to work with this relationship. If it's, if it's uh, somebody in business or somebody that you are working with, um, you know, briefly, this might present a problem. And over time, this might definitely present a problem in a long-term uh, personal relationship as well. So I don't know how many of you have read The Power of Now. It's one of my favorite books um, by Eckhart Tolle. I, I don't know how to say his name properly. Tolle, Tolle, T-O-L-L-E. 
Um, I'll put a link to his books on uh, one of his books anyway on the show notes. But I love that book, and part of it is that it it gives you ideas and thoughts and discussion around being in the now and being present. And particularly, I think at this time of year when things are hectic, it's good to just slow down and take a breather and to be present, especially if you're you're um, you're finding yourself distracted. I can remember. Um, my kids nattering away when they were little about stuff and every once in a while I'd be saying oh yeah yeah and I'd be making lunch or doing whatever doing something else and all of a sudden it would be mommy you didn't hear what I said and I would think whoa I just missed something that my child was saying to me that might have been important you know and to sort of shake it off and to focus on what they had to say and be present in that moment and I wonder you know how many times I missed what was being said and the communication. I wonder. Have you ever been on the phone uh, with somebody when they were obviously playing on their computer or playing on, on another phone, texting somebody else or watching TV? You can tell after a while, can't you? And I've been guilty of doing that as well, talking to somebody while I was uh, working away on something on the computer. And it's really hard to uh, to pretend to be paying attention when you're not really paying attention. And it really isn't fair. It would be much better to say, look, I'll call you back or I will, uh, I, I'm distracted right now. This isn't working. You know, can we have this conversation another time? But often we don't do that and we try and multitask. I also heard recently that there is no such thing as multitasking. We are only capable, they've discovered they, the ubiquitous they. Um, but I think there have been reviews and, and um, studies on this that we are incapable of multitasking. Uh, we actually can only focus on one task at a time uh, properly and fully. So that's an interesting consideration that multitasking, the, uh, the skill that we have um, required people to be able to do and have actually is impossible and we really are only able to do one thing at a time we can do a number of things bounce back and forth between a number of things you know quickly in succession which i guess is where the idea of multitasking came from but in reality we can't actually multitask we can only do one thing at a time so if we are doing one thing it might be useful to actually be present in doing that one thing. Now, I don't know if any of you have any uh, thoughts or comments on how best to do this, but I think even just being aware of where the mind is at any given time. Now, I don't think you can be present all the time, but it might be useful to remind yourself every once in a while that, hey, now is never going to happen again. <laughs> and if I'm not here in the now, especially with someone else in your life, with your child, with your partner, um, that moment is gone forever. There may be other moments, um, but maybe you've missed something that's crucial and it would be an important thing to be paying attention in that time. So if you have any ideas or thoughts on this, please, please come over and leave a comment on the website at communicationdiva.com or um, on Facebook or send me an email, j-e-n-n at communicationdiva.com because I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on the idea of being present and being here and being in the now. All right. So something else I wanted to mention is that next week I will be bringing you an interview with Cliff Ravenscraft, who is the podcast answer man. And this is kind of fitting because December 10th is the one year anniversary of Communication Diva, the podcast. So I am very pleased to be able to bring you this uh, this special guest and uh, hopefully we will uh, have a fabulous conversation about communicating in the work that he does with his 
customers, his clients, his listeners in all of the different areas that he does. I think he's a very, very skilled communicator. And uh, so I'm very pleased to be welcoming Cliff Ravenscraft to my next episode. So please be sure to tune in. That'll be next week. That will be December 10th, which is a, uh, a Monday. And uh, I really look forward to bringing you that episode. So happy anniversary in advance. There you go. I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm not sure if I will have time to add any more to this uh, discussion. I am uh, rushing today. <laughs> Speaking of being busy, I am rushing off to uh, a class at university and then a number of other things um, are uh, 21 year old is feeling better those of you that listened to last week's episode and heard about her having mono she's feeling quite a bit better and so uh so that's a good thing i still think it's going to be a bit of a long road but uh she's uh not as puffed up and swollen and feeling quite a bit better so i'm grateful for that and i'm hoping that that will continue and that she can get back to some of her life activities that have been put on hold for the past week and a bit um, we've enjoyed having her little cat who's come to visit at our house. Uh, I've never had a cat before, so it's a new experience having a little cat run around, but he's very cute and, uh, and very, very much like a dog, this little cat. He loves to come and run and, uh, he comes when you call him and apparently he's a Havana Brown or part, part Havana Brown and that mix of cat is supposed to be one that is, um, is, uh, <laughs> much more social than some of the other cats that I have seen or experienced. So that's interesting. So anyway, if I think of anything more to talk about being present, I will uh, add that on to this discussion. But if not, I hope that you have a fantastic week and that you can pay close attention to the moments in your life as you go through your day. And I think even just being aware that, ooh, I wasn't here now. My body was here, but actually my mind was going in 15 other directions. If you can do that, even a few times a day, then you might build up the practice of being more present more often. And probably the people in your life will appreciate that. And you will appreciate that too. So thinking about being here, thinking about right now, and thinking about the person or the situation you're in at the very moment, is a good thing to work on, I think, this week. Anyway, peace to everyone, and talk to you soon. This is Jen Swanson, Communication Diva. Bye.